all right i know i know it's been a minute it's been a while but we're back into another video i'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make an object follow another object in blender it could literally be anything and if you want to see an example this is what i did with it So I know it looks a little complicated, but it, it's really not. It's just some particle systems with some rules. And so if you guys want to see how to do that, let's get into it. All right. So let's go ahead and get this done really quick. It's a hot summer outside. It's pretty hot in here. Um, so let's go ahead and delete our defaults really quick. Um, Shift A, I'm going to go ahead and add a monkey. Again, I just don't want to take too much time. I want to show you how to do it. And then on your own, you can go ahead and try with different objects. Have fun with it. Create some cool stuff. You know, make it look dope. So once you have your object right here, you're going to go ahead and add another object. For this other object, I'm just going to go ahead and use a cone. Move it to the side, scale it down a bit, just a bit. Maybe it doesn't matter, but I like to do it that way. Uh, keep it on the side, you know, far, far away from my monkey. And um, we're going to go ahead and do some, we're going to set up the render, um, some lights um, and some materials really quick. So we're going to go ahead and add a couple lights. Add area light, G, Z, scale it up a bit like so. We're gonna go ahead and add the power, increase the power to 100 really quick. And we're gonna add a object uh, constraint to it really quick, track two, and have it track the monkey like so. G and bring it backwards a bit like so. J uh, Shift D to do another one. And um, Shift D to do another one, but bring that one below like so. And um, once you have this, you wanna go ahead and add a, a chrome material to our monkey over here. So click new to add a new material. Keep it on white, but make it a bit wider uh metallic all the way up and roughness to 0.1 and if we go to our render view you should have something like this um we're gonna go ahead of course and also go in, uh to cycles and make sure you have gpu compute selected and then our little cone over here we're gonna add a new material to it um we're gonna uh turn on the transmission all the way up and the roughness all the way down like so and uh we're gonna go ahead and also go to our world properties and make this full black like so and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add in a middle really quick shift a um add a match it could be a cube it could be anything you want so we're gonna bring this down like so and move it to the side just a little bit now for those of you who might be asking what an emitter is is basically gonna be the object that's gonna go ahead and give birth birth literally birth to any object you want so in this case we have our cone so we're gonna go ahead and have this cube grow a whole bunch of cones that eventually are gonna go ahead and follow our monkey over here so you guys will see what i mean by that now so with our uh, cube selected you want to go ahead and go to particle properties and create a new one by clicking on this plus sign really quick keep it at emitter number you could bring that down to about 100 for now uh you want to have it end on on frame one and lifetime you can put a couple zeros in there after that first one and so you want to go to render from halo change that to object and you're going to select your object which would be this this cone or diamond or uh, whatever you want to call it and uh, once you have that selected um as you can see over here we might want to make this a bit bigger because it'll it'll make it bigger a bit over here like so and so once you have that click back on your emitter and um, we're gonna go ahead and click on physics from physics type we're gonna make sure you, you select voids and go to void brain delete these over here you want to add a new one and select on follow leader and of course if you click space bar it's just gonna do some weird stuff and that's pretty much it now of course like we said we want to have these diamonds follow the leader which is this monkey over here so you want to select the object and select the monkey like so and when you go back to that first frame and you click space to start the animation it'll go towards the monkey and follow it just like that so now it doesn't look as cool as my animation that i showed you but that's because of my animation the number for the for the emission was a whole lot higher i believe i did about um 10 000, which is of course going to slow down your computer if you don't have a uh, good components um but it'll look something like this and then of course once you have this like that you could also go ahead and um change up the um movement so if you click down on this movement tab you go ahead and play with the 
max air speed you could put that at 15 maybe um the minimum might be i don't know maybe like three um this you could bring it up uh, down a little bit like so and if you go back to that first frame and you click space bar it'll do some weird stuff like this one and so i know it looks completely random but you know this is where you have to go ahead and play with these settings over here and you'll get a whole bunch of different outcomes it really all depends on what it is that you want to do with it so maybe let's bring this down a whole lot more again and you know press play again for the animation and it's gonna do this weird thing and it's just want to fly towards the monkey so you could move this monkey around and it's just always gonna want to follow it as you can see it wants to follow that monkey and it's just gonna do that now if we keep it steady like so it's just gonna be on it and it's gonna keep wanting to fly around it or you know i don't know whatever you want to call it but this is how you could do cool um particle animations uh with any type of logo any type of object um it could be butterflies it, you know it could be your actual logo and a whole bunch of different pieces it's all different things that you could think about it but again you're the designer you're the professional you want to be a, be a professional you have an artistic mind so you should be able to come up with your own ideas and put this into use so that being said again my first video on a comeback it's been a while it's been a minute but i've been learning some cool stuff and i'm going to be giving you guys some good game so if you want, want to see that content make sure to drop a like down below comment what you might want to see next and subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel this is Kaz, and i'm out